All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to program <clears throat> with this. Um, I've seen this on TikTok. It's called the, they call it the chaos game, but it's basically um, selecting random points to make Serpinski's triangle, which is a famous fractal. Um, and I'll, I'll provide the link to this uh, TikTok by, uh, I think it's, um, math letters and they do a really cool demonstration of it using paper and pen um, i'm going to show you how to do it uh, programmatically um, so here's the idea behind it <clears throat> we start out with uh, three points that uh, make a triangle um, it, it doesn't have to be perfect although um, I, I tried to make a uni, unilateral one um, and then uh, you're going to produce a random point that was that is within the walls of this triangle, right? And so that's this red dot. And then uh, step three is randomly select one of the original three dots, and um, you're going to get the halfway point between uh, that random one and um, one of the original three that you randomly selected. So, like, if I selected this one randomly, um, then this is the point. And then literally you just keep repeating step three. Now for this one, let's say we this one comes up to be the random one. Then you're gonna put a dot like somewhere around here. Um, and you just keep doing that over and over again. Um, and then this is actually a screenshot from, from doing this. It starts to form Serpinski's triangle. And honestly, if you let it go, it actually ends up looking really, really close to it. I'm actually, uh, I'm gonna start this for us um, popped up on my other screen but here it is already going I'll let it go a little bit while I talk to you some more about the code and we'll see what it ends up looking like um, so I'm just gonna take this off and let's look at the code real quick it's actually not that complicated to produce I'm using processing um, I just uh, made two arrays of X points and Y points which are basically going to be those three <clears throat> initial points I, I did this on, uh, well, I'll go over that in a second when I show you the points. Um, I, and then I my first random point, I just select a random spot that I know is within the triangle. I kind of cheated a little bit. I can probably do this um, a little better with some geometry. I just made sure. I know that these in between 122 and 300 and in between 220 and 300 are definitely inside the triangle. So um, it's a smaller region than I probably could have if I used some um, geometrical formulas. Anyway, um, this is the size of the, the screen I made in processing. And so I worked it out. I could have been better about this as well and been more dynamic with my programming, but I kind of hard coded these in. I know that these were the <clears throat> good starting points to make a triangle that makes most of this fills up most of the screen. Um, I, I could very well have uh, generated that and maybe that'll be a future improvement for this. Um, anyway, so, and and then in the, in the draw function, uh, you know, I get a stroke weight so that we can see those dots on the screen. Um, and then I draw the <clears throat> three original points and then I draw my random point and then I call this function draw rando point which basically generates a random point here's that function um, and I do what I said in, in step three up here where we look at um, we get a random number between zero and three but not inclusive and based on that so that's going to be one of these original three points and then I just get the um, I add up whatever point it was, let's say it was point one. So um, I add up those points, the X and the Y with the random point, right? That's the, um, this one here. <clears throat> and then I divide it by two to get the halfway point between them. So that should result in this green dot, right? And, and then I uh, save that as the new R point X and R point Y which if we look back at the screen before, that's gonna be printed to the screen. And so we are constantly calling this function and getting a new R point X and R point Y. Um, and that 
produces this look oh wow it looks pretty pretty darn good at this point got like a couple stray dots but otherwise this is this is pretty it's actually still going but that looks pretty well defined and if you know, I'm stuck this in front of anyone they would know that's the uh, Sar Sarpinski's uh, triangle so cool I hope you enjoyed this um, let me know if you have any questions thanks oh I'll provide the code for this as well